Yo, we go. We're back again with another episode. The journey of Sid Dino, the best Brazilian of all time. Stop the cap. Self-proclaimed, obviously. We're back again with another episode. Things are going pretty well so far because look at those stats. Three goals and four assists in the Champions League or... Wait, three goals and one assist. That was four appearances. My bad. But anyways, Cidinho has been stellar in the Champions League. We saw that in the last episode against Juve in the first leg. 1-0 win. Cidinho scoring the game winner. We've got the second leg in this one. And that's a big game chance for us to make it to the quarters. We're going to give it everything, especially considering we're so bad in the Bundesliga that everything now relies on how we do in the Champions League. So... Yep, it's gonna be fun. Also, a lot of you guys made me realize that we're playing with Morelos not for the first time, but for the second time because we were teammates back at Rangers when, of course, Cedinho played in Scotland. Yep, started from the bottom and now both of us are here. So, yep, look at that. 82 rated Morelos. We're playing together now. Also, guys, can I just say about the accusations of me not growing well enough with Cedinho? I feel like they're just stupid, man. With 84 rated, I know that and a lot of people keep saying, oh, I've done two seasons in the player career mode and I'm like 88 rated, I'm 89 rated or whatever. I get it, man. If you play every single game, you will be that high rated. But in this series, we want to keep it fast paced. I want to make it entertaining and playing every game is not going to be that. So that's exactly why we've had a slower growth trajectory. But it's still insane. You know, 84 rated at age 20 is still pretty decent guys like come on like take it easy guys i'd say but anyways it's gonna be a big episode as we take on juventus in the champions league for that second leg a draw or a win and we're through to the quarters that's the goal let's do it i swear my brain cannot comprehend how stupid the dortmund coach is he's playing sancho at right center mid then he goes to play our center mid michael merino at left mid like how stupid are you stop it get some help we're just gonna have to work with this. Could this be Cidinho's biggest night in a Dortmund shirt? Especially at home? I think it is. Like, we win this game. That's a statement. And if we score, that's an even bigger statement, you know, in a Champions League game. A high-profile game like this for Cidinho to deliver would be nice. But that first pass isn't quite a good indication. Some good passing. Sancho looks for Cidinho. That first touch was nice indeed. He could bring this back in for Togen Hazard. Falls for Sancho. The shot is deflected off, but we still have the ball. Haaland looks for Cidinho, tries to scoop it in, but Zinchenko gets that. We still have it, though, with Haaland. What can he do from here? Looks for Sancho, playing in midfield. Almost put us into the lead there, but Wojciech Szczesny, hopefully I've said his name correctly, makes the save. Here we go with Cidinho, looks for Haaland. This could be big. I'm asking for it again. Cidinho, I'm going to try and square this for Haaland. That was a mistake. From that angle, I thought the pass was there, but it clearly wasn't. Ah, we could be 2 nil up on aggregate. Way too much space for Weston McKenney down the wings. Uh, need to defend this, guys. Come on, boys. Please defend this. Get the ball off them. We're just giving them so much space to whip in across. They're literally just wasting time down there. Do, do they realize that they need to score? Maybe they don't. Is that cross ever going to come in, Danilo? Okay, finds Dybala. This is, this is scary now. Good defending, boys. Come on. Well, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Cidinho down the wings. Looking very decent here. I'm going to have to turn. I don't know what to do from here. I'm going back for Jaden Sancho. Aspiliqueta. Emre Chan. The attack's kind of gone, but Haaland still has it. You never know with Haaland, of course. He's got the strength there. Finds Sancho. Oh, gives it away cheaply. That's my fault because... When I was down the wings, I maybe should have just gone for goal. Oh, the amount of space we're leaving for McKenney there. He's probably going to score off that. Clear the ball away, guys. What on earth was that? How lucky are we that it's still 1-0 to us? The ball was bouncing everywhere. Nobody could clear it to save their lives. I was... Yep, that was that was incredible. On the other end of the pitch, though, we could do something, yeah? Cidinho looking for Haaland, but... Uh, Haaland looks for Cidinho. He's got space. Tries to shoot. Gets blocked. Haaland again. Looks now for Cidinho. There's space again. Goes for goal. That's a big save from the keeper. Chesney's had a good game. Half time. And as long as we keep it nil-nil, I'm happy because we're going through as the scoreline if it stays the same. Sancho looks for Cidinho. That's a good touch. Could end the game. He's actually scored. Cidinho twice against Juventus now has scored again. What a big goal this is. He celebrates in front of the Dortmund fans. Sancho with the assist. So I guess play given midfielders somehow worked. What a finish, guys. 
2 0 up on aggregate, we might actually be knocking Juventus out from the Champions League. This has got to be Cedinho's best achievement in his career so far, scoring in both legs against Juve. That is actually a bit mad. By the way, a change in formation or something is we're now playing left striker. Interesting approach. Oh, this is not good. I'm tracking back as well to do something here. That's a big save from our keeper. Fair play. Keeping the nerves in like ha manageable as long as the score is like comfortable for us, which is 2-0, which it is. And it's done. Yeah, we've actually managed to knock out Juventus. A dream run for Dortmund continues in the Champions League. Who will be facing in the quarters? I have no idea, but this has got to be Cedinho's biggest achievement in his career. Knocking out Juve in the round of 16. And he's been the best player in both legs. Incredible. We're going to smash through a couple of games in the Bundesliga, hoping that Dortmund can win them. Okay, that's a win against Augsburg. You'll love to see it. What about Union Berlin? 5-0 win. We move. And now, I think we've got FIFA World Cup qualifiers and we've been picked for them. Exciting stuff. And yes, indeed, we've been picked for the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Peru and Ecuador. Those are the teams we'll be facing. Let's hope we can get some game time. Our record for Brazil is actually a bit mad, so I'm hoping in official games we can step up. Before we head off to Brazil for the qualifiers, Champions League. Who will be facing in the round of 16? And it's Liverpool. Yikes, that is gonna be difficult, man. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that. Quarterfinals. It's Dortmund-Liverpool. What's the situation in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers? So, apparently, top five teams go through. Okay, we're second. So, we're looking comfortable, guys. But Colombia looking decent. We're up against Peru. And I don't think we've been picked for this. Nope, we haven't. So, let's hope we'll get to play the second game. And we walk away with the 1-0 win. Richarlison scoring. Not too bad. Well, a bit of good news. We are starting against Ecuador. This should be... I was going to say fun. Why is Sidin? you're playing right dm please like i need an explanation no he is legit playing cdm and casemiro left wing is this game stupid or something well we have no choice but to play through this i guess we're playing for brazil even though i am playing as a cdm there's no way we're staying there guys we're gonna be everywhere our record for brazil is actually like very very good i remember scoring that hat trick on cdinho's debut so Let's hope for something more. Uh, we're playing an official game with Brazil at the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. This should be fun. Oh, here we go. Here we go. On a run here. On a run. The run's been cut out. Yikes. Okay, already a chance for Ecuador. That's, that's good defending. That is actually very good defending. And now look at the space here. Who's this now? It's Casemiro at left wing. I hate this game, honestly. Play it to me, dude. Play it to me. He finally gets it to me. I've kept it on side. But it was so late, dude. Casemiro, that's why you don't play him on the left side. Like, how stupid are you? Whoever is coaching this Brazil team. Chance for Ecuador. Are they going to do something from here? They are. They might actually score. That's Diego Carlos and Marquinhos cleaning things up. Love to see it. Oh, what a ball that is for Cidinho. I've kept myself on side here. <laughs> I want to cry. What have I just done? There we go. Cidinho on that mazy run. Could square this one for someone. Vinicius, shoot yourself. That was, that was a good chance created there, but nothing from it. Although, we could build again. Arthur Mello. Now it's Anthony. Looks for Cedinho. This is looking very promising. Although, I don't want to shoot with my left. So, I'm going back in. Nah, dude. Squaring the ball in the box is so difficult this year. Oh, this is looking very nice. Please play it to me, dude. Gabriel Jesus to Cedinho. No, the ball was average. Oh, we're creating. We're getting there, guys. I'm feeling a goal will come soon. Good pass. And now I'm releasing this one for Anthony. He's got a score. Of course, he's going to score an assist for Cedinho as we set up one of our teammates. Yep, everyone's playing in, the, in, the, in their wrong position, but it's working. I, I don't know how, but it is. 1-0 up against Ecuador. We need the three points here. Let's get it done. Might be actually time to do a CDM's job occasionally. I might just go sliding in. Oh, you know what? Maybe Cedinho has got a bit of talent for playing in that CDM role. And now he's driving it forward as well. Look at this. A lot of pace. Still Cedinho. Looks to bring it inside. Can do so. Scoop turn. Past the couple. We still get it somehow. How have we not scored from that? That was, that was very good from Cedinho. Deserved a bit better. And oh, we might still have a chance here. Cedinho. Left foot. With his left foot. 
Cedinho has scored for Brazil with his left foot, guys. No way. Yo. I think we can actually count on, on, on one hand how many goals we've scored with his left. And that might be maybe the fifth one. I'm not entirely sure, but it was a solid finish. And we're 2-0 up against Ecuador. Superb to see Cedinho score for Brazil. And that do with his left. I'll take it as first in a qualifier game. Oh, no, 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 no. Ecuador somehow break through. It was a powerful finish. That man just rifled it in the back of the net. Fair enough. Ecuador get the goal back. We're still leading 2-1. We're still pretty comfortable. So can't complain all too much. We're still in the driver's seat for this one. But now we've got... Mandiquez's goal, uh, getting Ecuador right behind us. Hey, Cedinho, class, but he gives it away there. Uh-oh, I think I'm getting sent off for that. I was trying to get the ball from behind. That's why you don't play me at CDM. It's a red card, a second yellow. No. We've actually been sent off. Unreal. Hopefully we get the win, guys. We do. That is a let-off. That is a massive let-off. 6.7 match rating because of that. Hey, we still ended up scoring a winner, but good lord. Oh my god. Sent off for the first time in his career. He picks up a red card. Completely unnecessary. Thankfully, it didn't impact the team at all. We'll miss the next game, though. Kind of feel like mixed feelings, you know, for the qualifiers because... On one hand, I did score with Cirino, a good goal, and we won all the games, but red card means I missed the next game. It's against Venezuela, so I guess it's fine. Smashing through this one against Borussia Mönchengladbach, a 2-1 win, yo. Situation's looking completely different for us now in the Bundesliga, let's see. Yeah, we're third in the league, we're, we're getting that Champions League spot for next season, which could be a big deciding factor whether we need to stay at Dortmund for another season or not, so... That's bloody decent. You know what, guys? I kind of want to play the first leg against Liverpool in this episode. We'll keep the second leg for the next one. But first leg against Liverpool. If we can get some sort of an advantage, oh, that'd be nice. Now, of course, the red card doesn't affect Champions League. It was only for the Brazil game. So we're completely safe to play this next game. But we can't be so stupid like we were for the Brazil national team. So Dortmund-Liverpool, we need to be at our A game. We're in probably the best form we've ever been in in this series. Let's keep that up. Of course, we're starting once again, though. Jadon Sancho playing as a centre mid. It worked, I guess, in that last game. Bellingham on the left. That's an interesting call. Liverpool, is that Joe Gomez? If Joe Gomez is playing left wing, I feel like this game is just gone. Their midfielder with Pogba and Cruz. That's a bit mental. Here we go. Another big Champions League. Now, I feel like we're just playing big game after big game with Cedinho. But that's what we want, right? We want to be in these big Champions League nights. Let's do it now against Liverpool. Okay, one thing I can confirm that it's not Joe Gomez playing left wing. It's Maxi Gomez. So, yep, the game is not completely gone, I guess. Oh, look at the space here for Cedinho. Come on now. Releasing it for Aspilicueta. I'm asking for the ball back. Please, please get there. Please get there. I go diving in, but nah, nothing was coming off that. Hey, it's it's a bit of a reunion with Paul Pogba. Remember, guys, we did play with him briefly when he was at Leicester City or when we were at Leicester. And yeah, that was kind of fun, but he did leave us uh, when things weren't going well. So there's that, but oh well. Although on the breakaway, Cedinho has kept himself onside. I'm going for goal from a difficult angle. You just never know. Sometimes those go in. But this time it didn't. Good save from the keeper. Pogba looking for that pass for Yota, who shoots from a very difficult angle. The keeper made that look like a very easy save. So fair play to him. But the rebounds were going anywhere and we get away from that. Okay, we've controlled that well. I'm going to try and send Haaland through. Just run. Haaland, please just run fast. Why did you slow down? You have the pace, my guy. Still Haaland here. Maybe a pass to me. That's, that's what we're doing now. Erling Haaland as I try and bring it inside. I go down. Referee, please. Uh, I kind of... Maybe that wasn't a pen. I think he got a bit of the ball. Chance for Liverpool. Nah, no. Yeah, there is no no chance for Liverpool. Good defending. Tony Cruz. Maxi Gomez, please get it away, guys. Oh, so stressful, man. So stressful. Don't want to be giving away Liverpool that away goal. Oh, I break through really well from that. Ah, oh, the release was bad. Okay, Sancho using all the pace in the world here. Let's go. Could look for a cutback. Tries to find Haaland. But that's it. That's going to be the first half. A few half chances for both teams. But it's been very, very even. 
Let's see in the second half what happens here. A lot at stake, a spot in the semi-finals of the Champions League. I see Sancho making a good run. I've managed to find him. Jaden Sancho, what can he do from there? Looks back inside now, Haaland. It's brilliant passing. Haaland turns and shoots and almost manages to squeeze that in. Sancho, Cidinho, Haaland all combining for, for that. It was close. It was a pretty close chance. Connor comes in. Haaland heads it for Cidinho. He's completely missed the ball. I was going to go for a volley or something. Cidinho. Oh, that is a lovely pass for Thorgan Hazard. Get it back to me. Haaland now. Back for Cidinho. Releasing this for Thorgan Hazard. He's got a score. He's got a score and he does. An assist for Cidinho. But most importantly, that's given us a lead. 63rd minute. It's the man who scored for Belgium in the Euros. That fantastic goal to knock Portugal out. He's now done it against Liverpool. And an assist for us as well. We'll keep taking the stats home, I guess. What a finish, by the way, from Thorgan Hazard. That was 1-0 up. And you know what? Once you get to a Champions League semi-finals, we're not even there yet, but I'm starting to dream. Is this the season we win like a major, major title with Cidinho and to do it with Dortmund? I'm starting to dream, man. I, I really am. Can't count Liverpool out from scoring just yet, but that's good defending. One thing I'll say, we've de defended really well. Prevented them from having many opportunities in this one. Oh, that's a ball and a half for Sadio Mane. Wow. Scooped over our defence like they were non-existent. And Sadio Mane copies the Fermino celebration. That was a phenomenal goal. Liverpool right back in it and with the away goal advantage. Huh. I'm asking for the short ball, but that never came. The header was fairly okay, but a simple save for Alisson in the end. Here we go, Cidinho again, holding off his man. Looks for that pass for Thorgan Hazard. Could shoot. Options are there, and he does that. No, that was so stupid of him. Should have just gone for goal. There you have it, guys. Full time. It's a one all draw, which means everything to play for in the second leg at Anfield. Getting some more training done, long shots going up, very, very nice indeed, but also overall up to 85, that's awesome. We're going to smash through another game against Frankfurt in uh, Zabunda's Liga, which we do win 2-0, which is great. Next episode could actually be the final episode of this season, because if we get knocked out, we're just going to fire our way until the end of the season and decide what's next. If not, we go through semi-finals, so... Yeah, it's going to be an exciting episode, man. Everything to play for at Anfield. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's episode of the Cidinho Career Mode 85 rating. Stats continue to improve for him. We'll keep things going, guys. We'll absolutely keep things going. Next episode, as I said, big games coming up. I can't wait for this one against Liverpool. If you're enjoying the CDs, keep the support coming in by dropping a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and well... I'll catch you guys next time.